and welcome to another Robot Varnak Woodshop video. Today's project is how to make a decorative birdhouse wall plaque. There's lots of nature lovers out there, so it goes without saying a lot of people are bird watchers. So this project may appeal to you. It could also be a great craft show or art show project that you might want to make for money perhaps. You never know, you're only limited by your imagination. But today I'm going to show you how to make your very own birdhouse, decorative birdhouse wall plaque. It's very simple and easy to make as we will see, but there's a few tricks that you need to know to make it a lot easier. For example, you have to be able to cut the 90 degree angle here in, in the to keep the angle straight to line up at the hole and to line up the the back for a wall hanger. So uh, are you ready? Let's get started. I'm not going to show you all the blow by blow cuts at the tools but you will need a, preferably a bandsaw table saw to cut the wood down to size. So your birdhouse will consist of a piece of wood for the the main piece for the body of the birdhouse and pieces for the roof. It's a, what, what's a good source of wood for this project is old uh, shipping pallets. You can take a pallet apart and the rough hewn surface of the wood blends itself to the rough nature of an old uh, weather worn birdhouse that you see out in the uh, on a birding trail perhaps. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make a center line. So get a trusty ruler and measure Take a center, in this case it's three inches. So measure, draw a center line down the middle. You have to have a center line for keep to line up the the top, top. You need a center line to line up the hole and the top of the birdhouse. So make your center line. Now you, the tricky part, you have to be able to make the center line. There's two ways to do it. There's, this is also a good lesson in how to use different squares that you might find in, a, in your shop. Uh, you could use uh, this, which has a 90 deg the 45 degree angle. So you could line that up with these Put the center line here to the edge and repeat that, keeping the center line. It has to be 90 degrees so it fits on the roof. So as you can see, you have your 90 degree angle here. If, uh, if you don't have one of these, there's other squares you can use. For example, you uh, get 45 degree angles, which is half of 90. If you want to do the calculations, if you have like a machinist square, you could set a, a T-bevel square to 90, the 45 degrees, like so. and set that at 40, 45, that would be 45 there, and you could check your work and see it's 45, and 45. For this project you also need about a one and a half inch Fossner bit, that is a drill bit that makes flat bottom holes. In the case of the decorative birdhouse, you don't want the hole going all the way through. You just want the hole to go about halfway through with the Fossner bit. 
and then you need some uh, black flat black paint is best to paint the inside of the hole to give it the illusion that it's a real birdhouse hanging on the wall so it looks more decorative so you want the hole to be dark inside like it's a three-dimensional birdhouse so well what do you know I, d I just got back from the bandsaw and cut the 45 degree angle here so now we're ready to cut the piece for the roof in the case of the roof you want a slight overhang on the top there So you want the side of the birdhouse to be visually artistically balanced so so maybe about a one inch or so overhang from the side and keep the top top side there okay and make your mark. Now you got one side, you have to make the other side to match. You want both sides to be balanced from here to here. And the easiest way to do that is to roughly line it up, use your finger and as a marking gauge you're going to add three quarter inch for the thickness of the material here you could also use a square and to roughly visually mark the center you get a better look at there so you can see how it mark makes the line here so you don't have to do the calculation with the the top joint, the lap joint at the top of the birdhouse so you can see it roughly matches now as you can see the birdhouse is taking form so now you make your hole Depending, if you want to make it look more realistic, you could actually build the uh, face of the birdhouse to specification. But some birdhouses are quite big in real life, so you want this to be more decorative. So a one and a half inch hole usually works best. I'm just going to make a new center line because you saw that this was a switch switch piece. So once you get your center line, you mark the hole where you want the hole to go. Because in a real life birdhouse, the birds would be nesting down in there. So you want to use your Faustner bit to have the hole roughly about one third down so the birds be expected to be uh, nesting and roosting in there so you want the birdhouse to look realistic when it's hanging on the wall so I'm gonna see you're gonna see a Faustner bit in use When using the Faustner bit, you want to make sure your workpiece is securely secured. So use a couple of clamps to hold the workplace, 
the workpiece in place and to keep it secure and out of the path of the, the drill. We only want to go about halfway down so the, that's why you want to use the black paint to to make uh, give the hole depth like it's a uh, real like there's darkness in the hole so now with the hole drilled out the next step is to paint paint only the bottom of the hole you want the sides of the hole to be stained or natural wood Now, once the hole is drilled, the next thing to do is to glue the, the pe roof pieces on so it'll look more natural. Uh, how you put the joint on the top of the roof is up to you, if you want to have it to the left or right. But as long as the sides are e uh, well spaced at the bottom, so the birdhouse visually looks like a real birdhouse that you would see if you went outside to a bird trail. So you get to square off the edges more with the disc sander for example. In my case I used an old part piece of an old cereal package so the glue won't stick to the workbench. So when you glue the roof pieces on, you only want to stick it to the lower, lower part of, of the roof there. And put a little piece of the top where it overlaps on the top of the roof there. And while that's going on, you can, the next thing you do is paint the inside of the hole. So take a dab of the paint. Remember, you only want the paint the inside of the hole. The good thing about the Fossner bit is that it leaves a ridge at the bottom of the hole that you can use to guide your paintbrush to fill in the edges of the hole so it looks more flat. Well, it looks like the glue is already setting up so it can be moved. Take that back. It's not. All right, you get the idea, folks. That's what the finished uh, birdhouse will look like. And uh, here's a smaller version. So once it's uh, done, and you put a sawtooth hanger on the back, or you could drill a hole to hold the nail, it'll be a uh, most interesting craft piece that you could sell to craft fair, art fair, or what have you, or may they make great gifts for friends and family, especially the bird enthusiasts that out there. So you can see how the hole looks more, more like it's a three-dimensional birdhouse. So once it's hang hanging on the wall, it'll look, uh, look good, like a real like it's a real birdhouse hanging there on the wall. A great wall decoration that you can make, easily make. So in summary we actually learned 
how you could use the center line to line up the the line to cut the 90 degree 90 degree angle here to make the roof of the birdhouse that you could actually use to make a real birdhouse. Let me know in the comments. I'll might show you how to make a real three-dimensional birdhouse that you could hang in your garden and help help the little birdies in in your uh, area. So that being said, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and especially comment. I want to see what you think out there for. What kind of projects do you like to see Robot Varnick make for you and show you quick and easy? So that's the end for now. See you next time.